Good evening. So today we are going to be talking about how to bring a microscope to focus. That is how to bring a specimen to focus under the microscope. This is a microscope. We call it a light microscope, and it's also a binocular microscope because it has two ocular, two eyepieces. Now, the part of the microscope we have the eyepiece, we have the body tube. We have the revolving nose piece that house the objective lens. We have the stage. We have the stage clip that holds the slide. You put your side on the stage. We have the stage adjustment knob that moves sideways, front and back. Then we have the light source. And we have what we call the iris diaphragm that controls the amount of light going into the space. If you check here, you see that it's increasing. Or is reducing. When you are working with lower objective, at this times four, you use you close the lights. You don't need much light. Or when you are using times forty, you open the light so you can see. You need more light. So we have the light source. We have the coarse adjustment knob that bring the stage down and also bring the microscope to focus. We have the fine adjustment knob that every to fine tune and get a perfect. Focus after you have used your core quartz adjustment knob. We have the switch, the zero represents off, the one represents on. In elect then we increase your light from this side. So now this is a microscope, is a it's called binocular microscope, and it's also a light microscope. It has um, this eyepiece that we have, it has different, it has magnification. And we also have objective lens that has magnification. Like the lowest is times four, that has red band. The next one is times 10, yellow band. We have blue times 40, and we have the cream one or white one that is times 100. This is oil emulsion objective. Before you use this one, you put oil on this cover stick to examine it. Now, let's go into how you can bring a microscope to focus, a specimen to focus under the microscope. The first thing you do is you plug your microscope to the light source, then you on it from the side, then you use the quartz adjustment knob to bring the stage down so it will be easier for you to mount your preferred slide. So you let your slide rest on this side of the stage, then use this slide clip to hold this. Then you make sure that the specimen you have mounted is directly under the rays of light. Because anything that is not under the rays of light, you will not see under the microscope. And since a microscope is an optical equipment that uses light, you reflect light, it has this eyepiece, before I go, it has this eyepiece has a series of lenses that magnify the microscopic uh, specimen into something you can see your eyes. This objective lens has also lenses that magnify. For example, I want to use times 10 objective. And I have my eyepiece as times 10. So the magnification is going to be 10 times 10. That magnification will be what? 100. So now, after you have bring the stage down, you mount your slide properly. Then you fix your eyes in the ocular. And you don't want to make any move here. Your eyes must be fixed here. You must not do anything without, you must not make any move with, without um, your eyes being fixed there. If I'm making any move and my eyes are not there, I can get to a focal lens and I will not know. So, to bring the object to focus now, you raise the quad adjustment knob up gently. First, the, 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 the space is clear. But now, as you raise it up gently, you will start experiencing that you are, you are seeing some colors trying to show. As if it's getting cloudy, you're about to see your specimen. So, and as you move it, then gently, you see your specimen. But since it's not well placed, I'll use that stage adjustment now to bring it to where I want. Then I have my specimen. Then, in case I want to go to 
higher magnification. I'll just use my revolving nose piece to move to times 40. And then I will not touch the quartz adjustment again. It will have loose focus now. I'll just touch only the fine adjustment now. And I'll get a fine focus. But because I'm using times 40, I need to increase the light because it's a bit dark. So I'll now increase the light from the iris diaphragm. You notice that there's an increase in the light? Yes. Then I have my perfect focus. So thank you.